At the young age of 35 in 2024, Ibrahim Troor stands as one of the world's youngest heads of state. His dedication to Burkina Faso remains steadfast, undeterred by his youth. Ibrahim Troor exhibits a resolute commitment to overcoming challenges and driving essential changes for the nation's advancement. His passion for positive transformation is truly inspiring. In his year in office, he has initiated numerous projects for Burkina Faso, while also maintaining continuity with existing endeavors. Today's video will delve into his visionary leadership, focusing on both his innovative initiatives and the continuation of ongoing projects. We're going to take you through a few of Abraham Troor larger development and construction projects, along with the ones that have already been completed. The building of the Wagadougou Airport is the first project. President Ibrahim Troor's administration in Burkina Faso is presently working on a large project that will undoubtedly have a big effect on the nation's economy, the building of a completely new airport in Ouagadougou. To pay for this enormous project, the West African Development Bank and the ECOS Bank have granted loans reaching a staggering $61.8 million to Troor's administration. By 2024, this project, which is anticipated to cost more than $420 million, should be finished. The most exciting news, perhaps, is that approximately 5,000 new employment are anticipated to be created for Burkina Faso residents as a result of the construction of this new airport. The new airport will greatly facilitate the movement of people and goods into and out of the nation once it is operational. The economy as a whole should benefit from this in turn as it is anticipated to draw in new investment and enterprises. The terminal building can accommodate up to 1.5 million passengers, with a terminal facility that can handle up to 1.5 million passengers annually. This is intended to draw in new investment and enterprises and benefit the economy as a whole. In the years to come, this new airport will undoubtedly be a valuable resource for the nation and aid in the facilitation of both domestic and international travel. Burkina Faso's president, Ibrahim Troor, planted the first gold refineries foundation stone on November 23, 2023. The plant, which was built in collaboration with the nearby gold business Marina Gold, will be able to refine 150 tons of gold annually and is anticipated to generate over 5,000 indirect jobs in addition to 100 direct positions. A jewelry store will also be located in the refinery. A developing trend in African mining nations is the processing of gold locally. Mali is also contemplating building a refinery. Even though the nation is among the poorest in Africa, the next initiative is to modernize all of the country's roadways. Burkina Faso is improving the quality of its roads because to investments made in road construction and restoration projects by the current leader, who is carrying on the legacy of his predecessors. These initiatives, which include building new roads, widening existing ones, and turning gravel roads into paved surfaces are intended to improve the nation's road network's quality and connectivity. It is impossible to overestimate the significance of cross-border roads since they link Burkina Faso with its neighbors and promote regional trade. This year we'll see the completion of a major road development project, the Ouagadougou G. Basso Highway. The Jasso region in the country's north will be connected to Ouagadougou, the capital city, via this 343-kilometer roadway. The Ouagadougou-Zamero Highway and the Ouagadougou-Kaya Highway are two other noteworthy road constructions. In rural areas, the Bina Faso government also intends to build new roads and renovate old ones. There is little doubt that these initiatives will raise the standard of living for those who reside in these areas, making their everyday lives safer and more enjoyable. The people of Burina Faso are ecstatic to see these improvements as the country's road system is undergoing a major turning point in its development. Zaguli Solar Park Due to the nation's abundance of sunshine, there has been a spike in renewable energy projects since President Ibrahim Troor assumed office, with a concentration on solar energy in particular. With an astounding 33 megawatt capacity, the Zaguli Solar Power Facility is one noteworthy success story. Also, Burkina Faso is investigating the possibilities for biogas and biomass initiatives that produce energy from agricultural waste. By taking these steps, the nation may lessen its dependency on fossil fuels, mitigate climate change, and promote sustainable economic growth. In addition to meeting its renewable energy goals, Burkina Faso is dedicated to laying the foundation for a more sustainable and prosperous future. 
the Beach Dini Dam rising close to the Cot Divis boundary on the Common River. For many years, the Samini Dam project has represented both the opportunities and challenges that face Burkina Faso. After years of delays and difficulties, this massive project seeks to enhance water access and provide hydroelectric irrigation, potentially changing the area. The dam is almost finished, and its opening is scheduled for 2024. By September 2022, when Ibrahim Troer became president of Bina Faso, the Sandini Dam project was over 70% finished. Ibrahim Troer Ray has stated unequivocally that completing the project is his government's top priority. He has also moved quickly to assure its prompt completion by giving extra resources and pressuring contractors to work more quickly. Troer wants the residents of Burina Faso to benefit from the dam as soon as feasible. After construction is complete, the Sandini Dam will irrigate more than 100,000 hectares of land, significantly increasing agricultural output and enhancing food security across the nation. The dam will also produce power. Diminishing Burkina Faso's this crucial infrastructure project, which depends on imported electricity and offers a consistent supply of water, will also generate employment. Chances for residents, which is why Ibrahim Troer has prioritized it as a priority concern for his administration. The high-speed train project in Ouagadougou, the goal of the 1,000, 150 kilometers Ouagadougou high-speed train project is to connect the capital cities of Burkina Faso and Ivory Coast. It will convey over 5 million passengers and 10 million tons of freight annually, cutting down on the 36 hours travel time to just six hours. It will support sustainable development, trade, tourism, and regional integration. The two nations collaborated on the Ouagadougou high-speed train project, signing an agreement in 2021 to see it through to completion. Projects pertaining to agriculture and rural development in an effort to completely restructure the agriculture sector Troa has launched an amazing program called Agricultural Transformation. The program's main objectives are to boost food security, increase agricultural productivity, and generate employment in the industry. It's a thorough plan that includes supplying farmers with better fertilizer and seeds, training, and technical support, as well as improving the marketing of agricultural goods. In addition, the program acknowledges the importance of irrigation infrastructure and water conservation in reducing the effects of drought. In order to ensure that farming is possible all year round, irrigation systems and water harvesting infrastructure are now being built or renovated. The initiative also intends to develop rural areas, emphasizing the establishment of marketplaces, storage facilities, and rural road construction and maintenance. Transportation will be made easier by these initiatives, decrease crop losses and link farmers to markets. This amazing project has the backing of national and international organizations that are lending money, offering technical help, and sharing their expertise to make sure these projects are successful. It's amazing to observe the wonderful effects Troar's agricultural transformation program is having on farmers and communities. It's a game changer for the agricultural industry. They are useful the Ouagadougou Museum of Civilizations, an ambitious cultural endeavor the Museum of Civilization of Ouagadougou seeks to augment Burkina Faso's creative and historical legacy. It will have a 12,000 square meter main building with exhibition halls, instructional spaces, and reserves situated on a 10 hectare plot of land in the Zona district, close to the international airport. Auditoriums and laboratories, a landscape park with sculptures and installations and performances will also be a part of it. The Museum of Civilizations of Ouagadougou will serve as a hub for creativity, recollection, and discussion showcasing Burkina Faso's diverse and abundant cultural heritage. The Burkina Sat-1 satellite, launched in 2023 by Burkina Faso as part of the African Space Program. Burkina Faso made history by launching the Burkina Sat-1, the country's first artificial satellite. With a weight of under 10 kilograms, this nano-satellite flies 500 kilometers above Earth's surface. Its primary goal is to collect vital data on numerous critical subjects, such as the environment, agriculture, safety, health, and climate. However, the Burkina Sat satellite is more than just a tool for collecting data. It represents Burkina Faso's resolve to establish its digital sovereignty, advance its scientific and technological capacities, and emerge as a key force in space innovation and technology. In little more than a year, 
Burkina Faso is demonstrating that it is a country with a daring vision for the future. In addition to implementing an astonishing range of reforms to enhance Burkina Faso, the president has prioritized fighting terrorism in the nation. Leaders throughout Africa ought to follow Ibrahim Tror's lead and work to improve the globe. What do you think about this? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment below. Please give this educational video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you can see more. We appreciate your time and hope to see you in more thrilling videos soon.